if you were to come to Madrid and you were not interested about anything else, this would be the main reason why you would come to Madrid. It's amazing. So now it's time to get chocolate wasted. de llegar a España, Madrid. Sanguinas. There's a long line. We are here at Sanguinas. It's supposed to be a very famous churro chocolate place. It's open 24 hours every day. No holidays, nothing. They, they work every day. It's, I've never been to a place like this. So basically, you go upstairs, you make your order, and then if you want to find a table, you go downstairs or go upstairs and then give your ticket to the waiter, and then they'll bring you the stuff for you and, and you get to enjoy it. Let's try the little mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How was it? Very good? This meal. <laughs> what about this one? The big one. <laughs> Take a bite now. Oh. Yeah? My turn. My turn now. Mm, wow, this is so good. Right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Second one. Mm. Mm. Oh, Delicious. They also have a uh, fast food shop or fast food restaurant. Instead of waiting in lot and then finding a seat, you can just order it and go. It's next to the the big one over there. 
Elizabeth is busy filling out the paperwork for the Euro class. One tip to keep in mind is to always fill it in once you're on the train. Do not fill it in before you get on the train. Just so you know, because once you write anything inside of that little packet they give you, then and if you make a mistake, then it cannot be erased. We're gonna try to see the uh, what do you call it? Alcaraz, or oh, it's like the military fort at the top of the hill. And I think it used to be the palace at one point. Uh, and then we're gonna just explore around and then eat and then come home. Toledo Station. Si se acuerdan de este lugar. Donde estamos sentados hace tres años. some exhausting steps that's for sure all right as you can see I'm trying to make it to the top try to make it to the top Alcaraz stands at the top of Toledo. Its history dates back to pre-Roman times. This place is unique because it has a natural barrier around which is the river. This castle was the home of one of the kings, I believe during Carlos V's time. And then eventually, um, over time, this, this uh, castle was destroyed, rebuilt, and it was used as different things. During the Spanish Revolution in the 1900s, this castle was destroyed. Then eventually, after the war, it was rebuilt. And now we still have some places that are, that are actually the original. And most of it is, is uh, completely re reconstructed. Like the towers that we have at the corners, those are reconstructed. They were destroyed. During the war. What's the name of this place? This is Asudor La Chuleta. Where? Oh, where? We're in Toledo, Spain, España. España. Wow. Puerco <laughs> Ibérico. Costillas Ibéricas. Elizabeth Iberica. <laughs> it tastes sour. Yeah. Like well, I gotta jar. say, this is really good. This is my first time trying these types of olives. I don't know what kind of olives they are. And the olives I've tried before, eh, this ones are amazing. 
What are your thoughts? They're amazing. I love black olives, but this has a different flavor. And I really want to know what kind it is so I can buy it. And if they sell them in jars here, I'm going to take some. Amazing. <laughs> the ribs, they slide off. The meat, the meat slides off. Sausage. Medium well, or no, medium cut. I haven't tried that yet. Amazing with the sauce. The pork, amazing with the sauce. Can't believe we discovered this place.